Welcome! How cool and spiffy is that intro, right? It's amazing. I absolutely love it. And if you guys click down at the bottom where there's the reactions and there's a little circle with like a paper and a face, click on that and you'll see I added my own interaction. It's super funny. Awesome. All right, you guys. So let's talk about the ugly side of the coaching industry. Um, I was going to just do this in my private group. And then I've had such consistent run-ins with this conversation that I knew it was something I wanted to talk about live. So welcome, Heather. Welcome, Judy. Thank you for joining us. So go ahead and just put a one in the comments if you've ever hired a coach or worked with a coach. Just let me know kind of what your experience has been so I can kind of take a poll of where we're at. Um, so I work with a lot of coaches, um, as in I coach coaches, and I also typically usually have a coach. And the ugly side of the industry is, oh, hello, Josh. The ugly side of the industry is often um, it, it gets a bad rap or it's given a bad name because the, just like with any industry, you, you have people show up who, who are like whiny victims. All right. Hey, thanks, Nate. Thank you for that. Um, who, you know, hire a coach and then don't get what they want out of it. And so all of a sudden the whole industry is bad or yucky or awful and everybody's horrible and it all sucks. And you just, you have that in any industry, in any business. I mean, I've never met a business that has like on Yelp, for example, all nice reviews. There's always somebody that's going to be irritated and frustrated. And typically they tend to be a little bit louder than people who are happy or pleased. So there is that. I want to acknowledge that first of all, but I also think it's important to acknowledge that there is truly legitimately an ugly side to the industry of coaching where you will have people who will promise the world on a platter and then not be able to really deliver that or there's miscommunication and things, there's lack of integrity and um, in, anytime there's con in an exchange of money, you have the potentiality for like corruption and people to get distracted and caught up in a lot of different things. So I had a very intense experience with a coach myself. Um, it was a two year journey in this process. It was the first coach I'd ever really hired and I hired them um, right out of college. Um, I still had lots of student loan debt and um, I had actually just been getting out of a big hole of a lot of stuff. And I'd previously been on food stamps like a few months before this. So I went to this experience and I met this amazing coach that was like so shiny <laughs> and like awesome and smart and all these like cool things. And um, like asked me to invest in the program. And the program was a year long and it was $17,000. And at the time, I mean, we hadn't made that in a year. <laughs> so this was like a massive, massive chunk of change for me. And I was promised a lot of things and, and they later didn't turn out to be the way that I had anticipated. But here's the key with this experience becoming, no matter what I want you to hear and trust is that, that no matter what, you are at the seat of your experience in a coaching interaction. You are at the seat of being able to determine if you receive the lesson for what you invest. So I invested a large chunk of money, money we didn't have, went into some debt for it and then worked some magic, right? And moved money around and started working really, really hard to create the money. And, but the big key thing is before I made the decision, I prayed. <laughs> And I don't pray in the same way that I used to, but I really got clear of if this was the next step for me. And the answer I got was yes. And so I moved forward and I did it. And even though there were parts of the coaching program that didn't fit and didn't turn out the way that I wanted, and I didn't feel like had a ton of integrity, I know that I am who I am today and I'm coaching at the level I am today because of that experience. And I learned a ton in it. Um, now, does that make it mean that... Um, that I would do it again, right? Or like I wanna go sign up for another learning experience that looks like a money hole to a lot of people, absolutely not. But it's also really, really taught me how to choose my mentors and my coaches. And for those of you who are coaches, pay special attention to how your potential clients may be feeling when they're looking to interact and hire you. And especially when you're looking to hire your next coaches. So a lot of my clients are coaches, intuitives, healers, um, people in service-based businesses. And, um, I'm like getting so serious. This is like such a serious video right now and I tend to not want to be so serious. Okay, so let's lighten it up a little bit. How do you really choose a coach or a mentor? I've heard people saying lately, I've heard quite a few people saying this, I keep investing in coaches and programs 
and I'm not seeing the results that I want. And typically, they're just wanting money results, okay? So first of all, because they're so money obsessed with making money results, they can't see any of the other results they're getting, which means that they're not celebrating, which means they're not fully aware and conscious, which means that they're not actually receiving the benefit of whatever the block or breakthrough, whatever it is that the coach actually has to offer, okay? So they're, they're missing what they've actually gained and gleaned from that coaching investment. And when you miss it, you're not able to appropriately like dissect and decide who to assist you next. So for example, if you invest in a program that's a business in a box, and give me a two in the comments below if you know what I mean when I say a business in a box. If someone says, well, this is how I made my money in coaching. This is how you do online programs. This is how you market online or in social media or Instagram or email marketing or funnels. And they basically say, I'm going to coach you. But what they really do is they just give you the exactly how they did it. This is how I did it. This is the only way to do it. And they give that to you. All right. Yes. So Deanna knows what I'm talking about. So where that is a problem is if that's not what you were really needing for your next step. And you're really needing something else to get the money to, to flow. So here, there's so many things to this, you guys, so many nuances. So the important thing to realize is perhaps you needed that information. Okay. So now you have the business in a box system, but what you're missing is really how to implement it in a way that speaks to your unique genius so that you're not sounding like every other person in the marketplace where it's just like live your most amazing life ever and be in flow. And it's like, it's like, you know what I'm talking about. It's very, very same manifest to, you know, your reality. I'm an alignment coach. There's like a million alignment coaches, right? Or business coaches. But what you're missing is not that you don't have the skill set or that you don't have the marketing system, but you don't know actually how to communicate in a way that speaks to your ideal clients. This is why a lot of we have a lot of mismatching happen. And I don't really believe in mismatching. So again, it's impossible. If you have manifested and attracted a specific coach, there's a specific lesson. And the lesson might not be, here's how to be wildly prosperous, okay? So that's what I mean by a mismatch. It's not actually what you were consciously wanting, but we have mismatching happening because we have a bunch of coaches that don't actually know how to describe with clarity what they actually do. And so people are being attracted to the, just the shiny object thing and signing up on a bunch of empty promises and then becoming really, really disappointed and going into anger and all of this stuff, which blocks their ability to be solution oriented, to see, to be intuitive, to all this stuff. And we've got these angry, festering little people who are like, I love the industry and I want to be a coach and I want to be a healer and I want to be a trainer, but I hate it at the same time. And so they create this really intense space of resentment in their mind and their heart and they don't actually recognize that it's going on. So I'm going to show you what this looks like. So I'm a life and business coach. And when I say that it's super like generic and it's super like, it, it doesn't ping you, right? It doesn't speak like, Ooh, cool. It's maybe like, okay, you're one of like a, a million people that do that. Right? So, but when I say what I do is I help you activate your genius so that you actually are fully confident in what your skill set is and you are able to communicate it clearly. So you've got clarity in what you do so you can stand out in the marketplace, you can call in your, you know, those ideal clients and you can make cash, right? So I go through confidence, clarity and cash. When I say that it's like, "Oh, I get it. Like that's what you do if I'm someone who's looking to really bring in cash." via not like, I'm not gonna give you a business in a box system. I can give you ideas, I can brainstorm. I used to teach business systems and marketing uh, and travel all over and do these big three day retreats that were just like fire hose you with content. But I saw, you know, a third of the people be successful and two thirds not. So I know that that's not why most people are or are not making their money is because they can't find a system. It, you can YouTube free systems. You can Google ideas of how to market. Typically, there's there's gaps, and sometimes they're mental emotional gaps, right? There's there's lots of different things. So, but one of my specialties, one of my specialties, is helping you see how powerful and capable and unique you are. So I take people typically, I help people transition into just starting like their soul driven business. And I help take people to their first 10K, averaging 10K months. And then in my one-on-one -on -one private coaching, it's all just like, obviously, blow the lid off, expansion, bigger, more, more of that, right? And the more clear you are in your genius, the more you accept your unique genius, and the more that you can communicate that, 
the easier it is to find you. How are people going to know why they would actually want to work with you if you're just using very generic language like live happier, <laughs> feel free? It's like, what does that even mean? What if you could say to someone, you know, like actually give them a specific viewpoint? So it would sound like this. Um, are you sick and tired of going to market online and having no idea what to say and then just being a washed out version of everybody else? Are you sick of getting lost in the crowd? Right? You hear how this is like super specific where I'm giving you a visual. You can see what I'm saying. I, I'm, I'm, you know, like you can see the situation playing out. And then it's like, do you want to stand out? You want to know the, the value that you deliver clearly? Do you want to get that question right at the networking event? What do you do? And know exactly what to say and to not feel awkward or weird or hesitant or like you need to write a novel to actually explain what you do. Then, then hire me, right? And so you can see how immediate it's like, okay, I don't want to feel that way. I do want to feel that way. Boom, right? Also, do you want to create consistency in your business where you're consistently bringing in clients because you have a confidence that's not attached to your financial results, uh, your clients' results, um, your um, emotional state in your life? Like if your marriage is like going through something, you don't all of a sudden take yourself out as being qualified to coach. Do you see how when I say this language, you're like, oh, yeah, yeah, I get it. So this is what you guys get to do. And I totally just went down a rabbit hole here. It's like we're a little bit off topic, but <laughs> give me some hearts if you're loving it. OK, so another example would be if you sell, say you're like a nutritionist and that's your service based business and you're educating people about health and wellness. Instead of saying like, want more energy, it's like that's super like, OK, it doesn't it doesn't speak to me. But if you said, do you want to have the energy to get up and down on the floor with your kids? To wake up excited to seize the day and avoid pushing snooze seven times? Do you see how now I'm painting a picture for you, right? And then say, imagine springing out of bed with energy. Imagine waking up before your alarm. Imagine realizing it's two o'clock in the afternoon and you haven't had coffee because you feel so great. So I'm being specific in my language. This is oftentimes what's missing in the coaching world. What happens is people hire a copywriter that's really good at spinning words and saying fancy pretty things. And they make this beautiful sales page that kind of is the same as the person or the product or the program, but that captivates you because the, the, you know, it's so pretty and you hire them or you buy the program and then you get in the middle of it and you're like, wait, this literally is not the same at all. It's not the same at all because this is the real problem. You guys is the coach themselves. The person themselves does not really, they can't see themselves. They can't see their true genius. And most often when I work with people, they begin actually charging more. When you can communicate what you actually do for people in a way that's clear and concise, you can charge more because the result makes sense. The, the benefit makes sense. The cost makes sense. Now, if you're like, oh, I'm going to teach you how to feel happier and manifest more abundance, which is like super, I don't have a picture of that. Versus when I say you do my master's academy, it's $10,000. It's 90 days. It ends with a retreat. And our goal is to get you making 10K consistently, have you set up to be able to produce 10K consistently in your coaching business. Now, when I say it like that, it's like, oh, fuck. I know exactly what I'm paying for. I know that I'm going to know my genius. I'm going to be able to communicate it clearly. I'm going to be confident on sales calls. I'm going to be able to create consistency. Boom. And you just know it versus Oh, you know, and then, and then I can charge in a way that makes sense. Doesn't it make sense to invest $10,000 to be making $10,000 a month consistently? Yes. So, so the cost to benefit makes sense and it speaks to the person. And I know people will say, oh, well, it's really all about alignment and being in the flow and yes, and that stuff matters and it's powerful. And there's a lot of people that we're assisting in transitioning in their evolution of consciousness that require layman terms that are rooted on the planet. You guys, not these big esoteric, like I will make you feel great and connect you to your spirit guides. Yes. That's great and it's important and if that's exactly what you do, good. I'm not trying to mock that. What I'm saying is the language gets to be specific where you're clearly demonstrating the result, the outcome that you bring into people's lives. And certainly you bring multiple outcomes into their lives. That's true. I work with clients, haven't had sex for eight months with their husband, bam, eight times in eight weeks, right? Yes, these are the results that I get. 
for sure. But the way that I come about getting those results is unique based on my unique genius and how I activate transformation. And my ability to communicate that draws in clients. And not only that, because remember, it's not just what you say that draws in clients. It's your energy. Where are you vibrating right now? When I know how I deliver transformation, I can be so much more confident. I can vibrate at the energy of like, I know it's worth every penny. Like I'm so clear and I'm not hesitating. A lot of healers and coaches, they follow the business in a box system. They get people on calls or they land the speaking event or they pay five grand to be on the stage. But then people can sense inside of you when you wobble and waver in your confidence about your ability to truly deliver the transformation that you're selling in your program. So if you are not making the cash you really want to be making, maybe you don't have a system at all. Maybe you're not marketing. Maybe you're not even trying. Okay, well, that's an issue, obviously. But most likely, you are not competent in what you're doing or how you do it, and you are not being clear. You don't have clarity in how you're communicating it to your market. This is, guys, this is so critically important to understand. That's the gap. That's it. It's not that you can or cannot deliver the actual value. It's that you can't see how transformative it is and how you actually deliver it. So, I actually helped a client with this the other day, really assist her in being able to create communications. Actually, Deanna, I believe she's watching. Um, thank you for the hearts, you guys. Actually be able to really communicate what it is that she does and how she really supports and assists clients. And once that happened, you guys, she's got two, she just signed a client. I just want to celebrate her like crazy. She got her first $900 sale and she has a pending $1,800 sale. Guys, this, she just launched her business. She literally decided like four weeks ago to step back into being the healer and intuitive that she knows she's meant to be. Just barely. Okay, brand new business, you guys. $900 client and an $800, $1,800 client that's pending. And she has done like minimal, minimal, like almost zero marketing. But she was able to call in the clients, you guys, because she was so confident. She was so confident after I, I had two really awesome like sessions with her where I just like laid into her and really opened her eyes and showed her who she is. You guys, we have a warped perception of ourselves that's warped based on the big people in our life, the things we were told as kids that really distorts our ability to truly see our greatness. And so much exciting stuff is coming to you guys this year. Uh, I'm, I'm so excited. And I've teamed up with some amazing people to be bringing some powerful content. And I don't want to give too much of it away, but I'm just going to seed something here with you guys. Oftentimes, we try to minimize and hide our weaknesses. We think that it's wrong. We think that it's bad. We think that we're broken. We think all of these things. You guys, your weaknesses are clues. Clues to your greatness. They're, they're, they're the keys to unlocking your genius. So a lot of people are resisting like their weaknesses and trying to make them bad and trying to fix them and trying to do all this stuff. And what's happening, you guys, is you're doing this. This is why so many coaches and intuitives quit. They quit and they give up. Soul-driven entrepreneurs give up because they have an internal battle going on like this all day long. So they end the day fucking exhausted. They can't even, they can't even imagine going at it another day because they're having an internal battle and an internal war going on where they're trying to minimize certain traits and qualities about them or minimize and hide the fact that they still need to lose weight or that their marriage is struggling or that they're divorced three times or they're not owning some part of their story because they think it disqualifies them to be a coach and all of this weird stuff. You don't, guys, you do not see mechanics go, I am not qualified to fix this truck because I broke my ankle last week. They don't do that. But for some reason, coaches, intuitives, healers, and soul-driven entrepreneurs, because they align and connect so much to their work and what they're doing, because it's literally like the most beautiful, artistic, creative birthing of genius onto the planet, because they're so connected to it, anytime that they're off, they have a funky mood, they, they make a mistake, they say something mean, they have a rough morning, whatever, they immediately devalue their genius. They devalue their creation. And they lock themselves up in a cage, in a, in a complete cage of shame and worthlessness. That's, that's humility. I believe humility is, is shame in a mask. I want you to be competent. I want you to be clear on your genius and the value that you are here to bring to the planet. 
So on that sweet note, I did want to let you guys know, all my amazing soul-driven entrepreneurs, that I do have another Master's Academy opening up right now. I have four spots. Four spots for people who are ready. <laughs> Sophia, this is so real for me. Yes. For people who are ready to create that six-figure business. The soul-driven six-figure business um, typically I work with service-based businesses, but I've worked with network markers and a lot of other people before their soul driven business and to be able to communicate uniquely why to work with them. So if you are in network marketing, why you, why are you the leader meant for them? Why you, why this company, why now and be able to communicate it in a way that stands out. There's a lot of noise in the marketplace and that's okay. That's good. We don't want to change that. But you want them to be able to hear your voice above all the other ones and to be able to recognize your voice as the one that they are meant to connect with right now for their next step in their process, in their path, in their life. So I love you guys so much. Be sure to share this out. I know you're a part of tons of amazing groups of um, people leading the edge of consciousness. Get the word out. Let's talk about this. And I totally diverted subjects, right? We originally started talking about the ugly side of the industry. Instead, we totally shifted over to it being a message all about you and how you're marketing. I love you guys so much. Make it a fantastic weekend, and we'll talk to you again really soon.